Snoop Doggy. Snoop Dogg. He is going to be the final Olympic torch bearer when they light the torch for the United States as they head to the Paris Olympics. If this is not the most incredible plot twist in American history, I don't know what is. Go back to 1996 when he was on trial and did not get convicted. He was innocent, not guilty of first and second degree murder, him and his bodyguard and the demonization of gangster rap, of death row records, of smoking weed, everything that Snoop Dogg stands for. If I place you back in 1996 and I tell you that Snoop Dogg not only would be a torchbearer, but that he would be an, a beloved American figure, that he would be doing things with Martha Stewart and that Martha Stewart would actually be the convicted felon and not Snoop. If I had told you that, what would you have told me? George, no way, no how. What would what, what, what he do, find God? <laughs> like, uh, no. Snoop Dogg is out here making children's albums, children's music albums. What, and, and this is so America. This is second chance culture. This is, you can come from the slums, come from bad situations and literally change your entire life. But the thing that Snoop is, is authentic. He is not pretending to be somebody that he's not. And that's hard for a lot of people because we want to present our representative because we don't want the backlash. We don't want this. I mean, it's just like people on my social media. If I talk about politics or something, they're like, stick to sports. That ain't just me. I'm a well-rounded person. I care about football, care about basketball, care about my kids, care about my family, care about what's going on in the country. That's authentically who I am. And Snoop Dogg being the torchbearer, it, it reminds me of what happened with Canada with the Winter Olympics when they put that moose and the beaver on skates. Just be who you are. We saw that with China when they hosted the Olympics. We saw exactly what China was about. And Snoop Dogg, it wasn't fathomable when you were looking at what was going on with Dr. Dre, Suge Knight, you had the death of Biggie, death of Tupac, to ever think that Snoop Dogg blazing up all over the place, that he would be a person that people would be like, yo, we, we, we gotta protect Snoop Dogg at all costs. We gotta protect Snoop Dogg at all costs. Do you realize how impossible that that seemed and how great of an American story that this is and a lesson to all of us be you be you don't be anybody else because guess what everybody ain't gonna like it but somebody will like it